This evening, I'm remembering. I'm remembering Christmas's past. Remembering the magic. Not the dream carol of Dickens, not dreams, but magical in their own way. One such Christmas Eve past is worth a story. It's a story about the silence of the night and the gently falling snow. We loaded our car with presents and suitcases and kids. Like Santa's sleigh, we took off on Christmas Eve to stay with family for the holidays. Over the river and through the woods. It was snowing and nighttime by the time we left and departed on our three-hour journey through the mountains. As we approached Tupper Lake, there'd been an accident. It didn't look good, rather sad and very spooky. We finally got flagged through the scene and were on our way, somewhat shaken and sober. Not far after Tupper Lake, we ran off the road into a snowbank, a deep bank. No one was hurt, but that car wasn't going to move. Snowing still, moonlight on the trees, and it was cold. A troop who finally happened by. Those were the days there were no cell phones. He radioed for tow trucks. He couldn't get anyone to come out on Christmas Eve. We were getting colder. He said, I'll have to take you back to Tupper and you'll have to call family from Stewart's to come pick you up. Twists of fate. Silence. The snow is falling. Twists of fate. And you're alive or dead. Can I mention death in a Christmas story? It was real. Those people didn't make it. Silence and the snow is falling. Just then, a power company truck went by. Go figure. No idea why he was out. He stopped and we told him our predicament. He said, this truck can't pull you out, but there's one at the garage. I'll go get it. I'm not supposed to do this, but I'm going to do it. Surely, he arrived with that big truck and certainly did pull us out. Is there a point to this story? I think so. I think we slipped into a timeless Christmas Eve story. I remember the quietness after getting out of the car and not a soul in sight. Those were lonely country roads. The tall pines whispering, standing there in the cold in the woods wondering, snow falling gently. I remember the kindness of a man who went out of his way and took a chance to help a young, stranded family. How special. I remember the people we passed who didn't make it to Christmas that year or ever again. I remember my family and the love that shines through their eyes. We were the lucky ones that night. More than 25 years have passed since. The point? Life is full of simple twists of fate. It blows like the wind. If the wind blows wild, turn yourself into a kite and ride it. The real magic, that's in every heart. It's in the quietness of the night and the gently falling snow.